SRAM Eagle NX. It used to be the entry level 12 speed from SRAM, but in today's mid market for mountain bikes, this is a common offering. And this is where I think Shimano Dior is going to be the big competition. So why don't we take a closer look at this drivetrain that's been used for about a year and talk about possible upgrades, issues and comparison with the more expensive Eagle components. Not to mention that all this is obsolete now that SRAM introduced their new GX, X01 and XX1 with 520% gear range. NX was introduced about two years ago as a cheaper GX option and that is pretty obvious as you look at the shifter. This is painted and uh, looks cheap. They use the same technology and you see Eagle written here. However, this uh, downshift paddle is made of plastic and it's flexy, you can see it here. Uh, the other one, it's very similar to the GX or X, X1, X01. Cover is also made out of plastic and the inner cable entry point is under that little rubber cover. From a functionality standpoint, this feels like an Eagle shifter, very similar to GX. I can't really feel the uh, flex in the paddle. However, if you want that double upshift that Shimano offers, you know from my videos that you can just cleanly replace this shifter with a Shimano 12 speed shifter and that will work just fine. Cranks are very similar to the GX or SX cranks for that matter. They all use the new dub bottom bracket and the chain rings X-Sync 2. These are again the same. You can use it interchangeably with the XX1 if you want. Also the offset for your chain line here is given by this chain ring. So you can get either the three millimeter or six millimeter for boost or non-boost frames out there. I kind of like the SRAM crank sets, direct mount, chain rings, very simple to install. You can see here an eight millimeter hex and 54 newton meter to take out this uh, drive side crank. Here on the non-drive side, you can take out the play from the spindle and you can see a press fit BB92 here. The value of dub is that it can be installed on pretty much any frame standard. So if you don't mind the weight, the cranks are just fine. I would just uh, get a fancier looking or an oval chain ring and just use it like that. NX chain, I'm pretty sure the Eagle SX is the same. And this is very weak. If you look here at the outer plate, you're gonna see a crack in there. Actually, there were broken links on this chain before. That's why you have a quick link over here and you have another one, the original over there. The beauty of the Eagle chains is that they are interchangeable. So I would keep a replacement uh, in hand. I would not go for NX guaranteed. I would probably go for either. Eagle GX chain or even better get something like an XX1 that looks nicer and is gonna last a lot longer. So if you haven't figured it out I'm not a fan of the cheaper Eagle chains whatsoever. The derailleur aside from the graphics uh, there is a few other differences worth mentioning. It functions fine as I will show you later however if you look here at the top uh, the two derailleurs are pretty much identical. The knuckle is the same. It does have a little bit of play in it, which is kind of normal for SRAM Eagle. If you want to take out that play, uh, you can use the XX1 or X01 parts that I'm going to post in the description below. In this middle section, the front plate is the same. However, on the NX, the back plate is just stamped metal as opposed to something a bit beefier. If you're gonna catch your derailleur on a twig in the trail, this is what's gonna bend and it's gonna probably deem your uh, mech unusable. So better build on the GX for sure. Jockey wheels, even though the shape of them or the teeth shape is identical to something that's uh, way more expensive like an X01. GX and up jockey wheels use bearings that makes them smoother and also makes them stiff. You can see there's no side to side play whatsoever here as opposed to the Eagle NX that has quite a bit of play because they are built with bushings very similar to what Shimano does with their SLX and the War derailleurs. 
NX uses the same type 3 roller bearing clutch that's used by SRAM and all their uh, Eagle components. However, many argue that the clutch is fairly weak. One more good reason to replace the derailleur with the Shimano one where you can adjust the clutch. And I have a video on maintenance and all that jazz right up on my channel. Essex derailleur is even cheaper than this, is made of steel and plastic and I don't think it's for any serious mountain biking. I mean, look at the adjustment screws being threaded right into the plastic body of the derailleur. So if you're having issues with your NX or SX derailleur, I don't think I would recommend upgrading to GX or upgrading the knuckle or anything like that. I think I would straight on recommend just getting an SLX or Shimano Dior derailleur as a replacement because they work just fine and they will be cheaper overall. And that brings us to the NX and SX cassette which is entirely made out of steel hence the over 600 grams of weight. This goes up to 50 which you could argue that is obsolete these days since SRAM just introduced their 10 to 52 tooth cassettes. However, look at those and you're gonna see that the shape of their 52 is very similar to what you have here on the NX 50 tooth, so pretty interesting. This cassette uses the good old Shimano Freeha body, the HG or Hyperglide. It uses a locking ring and quite a few loose cogs with the exception of the last three which are uh, riveted together. With the cassette starting with an 11 tooth cog, instead of 500% gear range, you end up with a bit over 450%. So as long as you're fine with that, this is a perfectly fine upgrade path. An alternative to this cassette would be the Sunrace that I reviewed on my channel or I think the Shimano Dior 11 speed 11 to 51 but who cares about 11 speed these days when you can enjoy more and more range on 12 speed right? What do you guys think? And here's the shifting on a bike stand with the new GX chain, the new chain. Going off the cassette, multiple at a time. So, so quite typical SRAM Eagle performance, similar to something like GX, I would say. Out on the trail, the drivetrain performed well, but I did notice a little hesitation in shifting between some of the gears. The gears went there when I needed them, but it wasn't necessarily the smoothest or the fastest shifting drivetrain that I've ever used. Okay, so what do I think about Eagle NX? Well, I wouldn't buy it new, that's for sure. I would prefer it versus the Eagle SX. Uh, cranks, I'm fine with that chain I would get rid of it probably right away the shifting as you saw here is a bit clunky it can be because of all that play in the jockey wheels and the knuckle here so definitely not as crisp or as smooth but otherwise works okay so I guess if you get this on a new bike just uh, get a replacement chain ready and uh, enjoy it as for me this is the end of my short video I hope you guys found it useful have any questions let me know below don't forget to like subscribe keep an eye on social media and until next time i will see you folks on the trails hopefully riding some strum eagle drivetrains cheers guys cheers